Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho! This is Dr. Tom the Frog, and you're watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show. And I am excited because we're going to talk about tabletop RPGs with McGay Barker. How are you doing, McGay? I'm fine. It's McGay Baker, but that's all right. What? Oh, lots, well, of, lots oh. of amphibians get it wrong. It's it's hard for the amphibian tongue. So you're a baker. What what's your favorite kind of donut to make? Um, I actually prefer cookies. Uh, but if I do bake donuts, they're always cider donuts. Cider donuts. Mm. That is, are, are, is that an alcoholic content cider? No. Well, if, if it was alcoholic, that would bake off naturally in the the cooking process. But uh, no. I don't. I just use the cider. We use pear cider, maybe apple cider. Oh, that 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 sounds rather tasty. All mm -hmm. right. Recently, in the Epimus bundle, you released a brand new game called The Holly and the Ivy. Yes, I did. Oh, now, do you play that with cards? Because if you could, you could call it Deck the Holly. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's very clever. I didn't think of that. No, you play it with dice. Ah, great. So, what was the the Holly and the Ivy like? The Holly and the Ivy is a, a quick little game about a, a race to catch the white stag who brings the returning sun. And it's a, just a quick little game. It's a dice game, storytelling game, and the whole thing, we even with like five players, only takes you know, ten minutes or so. So it's a quick little game you can play. And in the end, whoever wins the game gets to make a wish. Oh, neat. So what, what did you wish for? I can't tell, otherwise it won't come true. I see. You've, you've definitely got the wishes things down. Yes. Uh, so, McGay, I, I'm, I'm curious. I understand that your entire family designs games. Is that right? That is true. I, is it possible for your family to have any fun playing Monopoly? We don't own a copy of Monopoly, so I don't know. if it's. I would assume so because you know we're like that. But I bet there would be a lot of interesting house rules. Yeah. Yeah, free parking, definitely. definitely. <laughs> oh, okay, well, what is it like playing a role-playing game when everyone's a designer? I mean, do you ever get through a session? Is everyone stopping? Oh, no, 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 new rule, new rule here. Not really. Like, when we play, when we're either, if we're doing um, playtesting, designing, design work with the kids or with the, fam with the family, you know, if it's one of the kids' games that we're testing or we've roped them in to run some dice mechanics with us, we're all pretty good about sticking through the session or the game cycle to see what it's like. And then at the end, to give feedback in a way that's helpful and say, here's what worked, here's what didn't work, what are you looking for here, and how can we help make that happen better, or how could it be more exciting? Um, our oldest son, Sebastian, is really good at this sort of game critique. He's um, been writing games for a long time, designing games for a long time. I mean, he's 18. So, I guess, you know, a little over half his life he's been doing game design. Um, and Elliot is our middle son. He has a really sharp eye for some, um, like, uh, color details of what's going on in um, and the fiction and how to bring that forward and how that translates and inter interacts with mechanics. And Toby just turned nine, and he's just a rule creating machine because everything's like, well, how about this? What if we do that? And how about we do that's it's really cool. Wow, you know, I've got a few hundred tadpoles myself. I need to farm off some of my mechanics creation to them. Yes, you do. I bet they'll come up with great ideas. Make a note of that, Rogers. All right. Nice guy games is your is your game imprint. What what have you got coming up soon? Well, right now Vincent and I are working on freebooting Venus, which I'm not going to talk more about really because doing design work on that, but that's exciting. And I'm working on, I'm actually toying with other games like Holly and the Ivy. It was so much fun to write and so clear to come through that I'm looking to see if there's more there um, in that sort of short uh, storytelling game that's sort of built around a dice game. I think that could be interesting. 
And I'm also working on a game about what happens when a place is abandoned. And this is a game that our youngest son is intimately involved with the design, the rules of that, because it came, the inspiration for this game called Gone came from uh, playing pretend with him when he's like, okay, here's the rules, and we make the map, and we do this, and then this happens. And I was like, this is awesome, and I have to make this into a game. So that's the things that I'm working on right now. Wow, you have so many. It's like you're a baker. You have so many things in the oven. It's true. Goes with the territory. Can't help it. All right, now we're going to come back. i got to hop back around to the serious question. All right, are you ready, McGay? I am. So I understand that it's a little cold here. I actually hopped south for the winter, but... You uh, are a lucky frog. I'm a doctor. I planned ahead. Yeah, there you go. That was good thinking. Now, what is the best hot drink on a wintry day? Best hot drink on a wintry day? I don't know. I drink a lot of tea this time of year. Like, as soon as the heat kicks on, it's, it's tea, uh, more tea, and lots more tea. Um, yeah, hot... I, you know, you can't go wrong with tea. You've got a lot of options. Well, tea, I'll have to mark that one down. Thank you so much, McGay, for coming on the Dr. Tom the Frog sure. Show. It was wonderful. Wonderful it's been a pleasure. You just watched the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, and we hope that you liked what you saw, yo. But if it was a big waste of your time, well, it's free, so that's not a crime. But if it was a waste of your time, yes, it's free, so that's not a crime.